so much for taking the time to tune into this vlog and if you are new to my channel welcome 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 okay so I know the lighting is horrendous I'm just parked in a weird spot in my driveway but today as you can tell by the main title of the vlog I am going wedding dress shopping and I'm so excited this isn't the first shop that I've checked out this is going to be the third one and it's not like I haven't found the dress like I have seen a few that I like really love but you know I'm keeping my options open and our wedding is going to be next year on October 17 so today is October 24 so it's Thursday so we are now officially less than a year out from our wedding which I still cannot believe like we're already less than a year to the wedding um, so I wanted to take you guys along with me today I am just going to pick up my mom from work and then we are heading to the boutique I don't know if I'll find the dress um, I do have a particular style in mind now hubs watches my vlogs so I can't be too too revealing of what I like you guys are just gonna have to wait and see on the big day <laughs> um, but I definitely wanted to take you guys along with me because a lot of you guys are so excited for me to start filming these wedding preparation videos so this is what I'm doing today like I said oh my gosh I'm so sorry the lighting is like horrendous um, but yeah so that is what we are doing today hey guys so it is the following day and basically I just want to quickly sit here and just tell you guys about the experience that I had yesterday I didn't get to vlog like I anticipated to only because I was actually the only one in the store which was super nice Nice because you know we really had that one-on-one -on -one personal experience which honestly you need that when you're wedding dress shopping you don't want to be just another customer or just another appointment that day you know not to say that the consultants would rush and not care what you want but it was just really nice to go in there and just take my time and really talk to the consultant and just really work with her in getting the dress to be what I want it to be and stuff so that was a really nice experience and the timing was really good too um, but anyways, so I didn't get to vlog it because I wanted to keep, obviously I want to keep the dress a surprise because I do have um, family and hubs watches my vlogs too. So I want to keep the dress a surprise. Some people like immediate family know what the dress looks like, but... I want you guys to be surprised. So I'm keeping the dress a surprise and I'm not going to delve into too much detail about it. But basically it was a little bit difficult because I was really picky about the dress. I mean, come on, it's your wedding dress. You kind of have to be picky. Um, but I also don't know much about wedding dresses at all like seriously at all I don't personally watch say yes to the dress like I don't watch wedding dress shows it's just not my thing so going into it I just didn't really know like I had an idea of what I wanted and it's funny because the style that I ended up choosing isn't really the style that I had in mind but it was beautiful just the way that it was on me like it felt so comfortable which was such a high selling point for me seriously I felt so comfortable like I could live in that dress that's how comfortable it was so that was definitely like an important aspect for me like I didn't want to feel like suffocated and I didn't want to feel like too I guess too stiff in the dress but no this one was very like comfortable so I was really happy about that also please excuse my hair I just I'm letting it air dried I just showered not too long ago and I feel like it's acting crazy but anyways but yes I really really cannot wait to show you guys what the dress looks like on my wedding day which is less than a year away which is crazy to me like it was so surreal like just standing in front of the mirror and just having my veil on and the dress and everything it was still crazy to me because I was like wait like I'm I'm the one who's wedding dress shopping you know it's not like I'm there for my cousin or anything like that like no it's for me so I don't think it's actually hit me yet even standing on there I was kind of like whoa like this is for me type of thing but it hasn't really hit me that it's for me like it's for my wedding so I don't know when that moment is gonna hit but it hasn't really hit yet so in case you guys are wondering um, we do have our venue we booked our venue before hubs deployed last year so we have that and then today Friday we actually are meeting with the church at 4 30 it is currently what time is it? it is currently 1 46 so um, I'm just waiting for hubs to get here and then we're gonna go and meet with the lady um, we are Catholic so we are getting married in the Catholic Church 
Um, so after we meet with her, that's pretty much like all set in stone type of thing as far as the venue and the church, which are like the two main important things. And now I can say I can cross off the list that I have my wedding dress. So we are getting the ball rolling. We are getting there. We are going through the checklist process, which makes me very excited. But yeah, as promised, I am going to take you guys along with me the wedding planning journey. So yeah. I said yes to the dress and that still boggles my mind. <laughs> I don't want this vlog to be like just me sitting down and talking to you guys just because I know that can get pretty boring. Um, but I, like I said, I'm just waiting for Hubs to get here. But in the meantime, I am going to make some lunch because I am starving. So I'm actually just going to make turkey patties. I'm gonna make Hubs one just in case he hasn't eaten yet, which I highly doubt he ate. So I'm just gonna make us turkey patties. This is from Shady Brook Farms. I actually picked this up from Target. And I just wanna quickly show you guys what I purchased at Target the other day. Um, so I'm starting to do this thing where um, my diet is basically going to be strictly dairy free. Now I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't typically eat dairy anyway. But I want to be more strict with it in the sense that I really want to cut out dairy. So I can't eat anything that has milk in it at all. So even like chocolate chip cookies that are traditionally made with milk, I'm not going to eat those. Like my stomach has gotten so sensitive to dairy lately, so I'm just cutting it out completely. And I have the lactate pills. Um, but I really don't want to take those. Those are just for like emergency situations only in the sense that if I'm out in a restaurant and they don't have dairy-free options, then I'm just gonna take that. But other than that, like I really am strictly going dairy-free. And I'm also wanting to change like my diet a little bit. I'm not going vegan, I'm not going vegetarian, um, but I do wanna incorporate more vegan options. Um, I really want to cut out red meat, hence the turkey patties. So I wouldn't eat regular cheeseburgers with beef. I would only opt for like turkey patties or like chicken patties or something. Uh, but yeah, so no more red meat. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Target. So I found these tofurkey plant-based deli slices and it's basically like turkey slices but it's made out of tofu. And this is the hickory smoked flavor and it's an excellent source of protein and it doesn't have any cholesterol in it. And those are the nutrition facts. This is certified organic and it's, like I said, it's vegan. So I got these. I tried them out the other day. They were pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This was the first time that I really tried tofu because I'm not a fan of tofu, but this actually wasn't bad. So I tried those out and then I've had these before, but this is the first time I'm purchasing them myself. This brand I love. I have grown to love this brand. Um, this is the Dairy Free Cheddar Style Slices. I have had their, let me see, I actually have it in my fridge right now. Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm not going to pull it out just because this cheese slices are on top of it, but I also have the plain cream cheese. The, that brand has their own um, dairy-free cream cheese. I really like it, so I, that's my second tub of it because I just went through my other one. And then I also have somewhere in my freezer i don't know where it is but they also have dairy free cheesecakes this brand but yeah so this brand also has dairy free cheesecakes and i bought a chocolate one i haven't tried it out yet it's still in my freezer but this is dairy free it's really cool because i can enjoy grilled cheese again and it's also soy free and it's still a good source of calcium and it's also gluten free that's another thing too if i can go gluten free i would like if there's a gluten free option but it's not I'm not really strict with gluten-free, so I have that. And then I also have a new coffee creamer. I've been bouncing back and forth between the oat milk coffee creamer because lately I have been loving oat milk. I love oat milk as the new like dairy alternative. I don't mind anything really. I could go either way. I don't mind soy milk, almond milk, oat milk. I've never tried cashew milk before. Um, so I don't mind anything, but I got this one to try. This is the Nut Pods Hazelnut Almond and Coconut Creamer, and this is also organic, and it's unsweetened and dairy-free. So if you look at the nutritional facts, there's no added sugars in it. So I personally don't take sugar in my coffee as it is. I just usually put coffee creamer in it, and then whatever sugar is in the coffee creamer, 
that's what I'll just use. I don't take sugar in my coffee. So I will say this is very, very unsweet. Obviously, it's unsweetened. But you may need to add stevia or sweetener if you guys like your coffees just a little bit sweeter. But this isn't bad. It's not too prominent on the hazelnut taste, um, but it's definitely in there. And then this, I'm actually going to give this a try right now. This is the Ripple Dairy-Free Matcha. And I've had the Ripple brand chocolate milk before, and I really like that. So when I saw that they had this matcha one, I was like so excited. I love my ice green tea lattes from Starbucks. I always get them with soy milk with two pumps of vanilla syrup. So I'm very excited to try this one out. And this has 8 grams of protein in here. So I'm going to try that out. I'm super excited. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys. This is the oat milk that's chocolate. So the chocolate oat milk that I've been drinking. I love that. Love it. So yeah, that's basically like what I've been doing diet-wise lately. Or at least I've been trying to. Like I said in my birthday vlog, I do want to get back on the intermittent fasting schedule. It's just been a little bit difficult for me lately. But I really want to try to get back on that. It's just a matter of I really have to discipline myself and restrict myself um, as far as like timing-wise goes. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make lunch. And then we're going to head out to the church. So usually I will season my patties with... With some garlic powder and some Mrs. Dash but we actually ran out of Mrs. Dash so I only have garlic part <laughs> I only have garlic powder here to work with so I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on there it's good because these are seasoned anyway it says savory seasoned um, I've never tried this one before usually I get my turkey patties from ShopRite which is my local grocery store but I was in Target when I was when I got this so I was just like eh, let's just get it cheers let us taste this i'm excited i'm a little bit nervous only because i'm always nervous to try out like new things it's not bad it's strictly matcha though like strictly matcha it's not sweet so if you want to add your own sweetener in here vanilla syrup or whatever to make it like starbucks version yeah it's a little bit on the drier side like it tastes like pure matcha powder if you've ever tried that before that's what this really tastes like so it's not sweet so just keep that in mind but it's not bad hey guys so today is monday and it's the week of halloween so it's the week of hubs's birthday um so today i figured since he's off of work we can carve our pumpkin that we got i don't know if i showed you guys the pumpkin i think i did a little bit but i don't think i like showed you guys so this is what it looks like so this is the pumpkin it's pretty huge i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve like this part just because there's already a hole in it and then the rest of it looks pretty good but yeah it's pretty nice size pumpkin and then we have all of our pumpkin stuff here now i don't remember the last time i carved a pumpkin if i ever did honestly so i'm kind of just like going after his lead but basically they have like different designs in these books but I don't know if he wants to do something else we'll see but yeah so I figured that's what we're gonna do today
a perfectionist and this is the first pumpkin that we're doing together. So Oh, I love any book about vampires, werewolves, monsters, zombies. <laughs> I am not a crafty person, okay? Okay, buddy, time is up. Give us the key. There is somewhere very far away. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything wrong. Yes, you are. She's treating it like it owes her money. <laughs> See? That's not bad.